Hi guys, in this lesson we are going to learn how to apply bootstrap into your project and give your project a nice look and feel. In the previous lesson we created unit master and we fetched all the records from the unit master and displayed in our view. We created two records in the backend table that is pieces and kg and then we created a menu called unit master. Now once you click on the unit master, it will fetch the C record and display it on the page. Now the task which we are going to undertake is that we are going to use Bootstrap and give it a nice look and feel. In order to apply Bootstrap and the relevant Bootstrap JS file, we need to follow the simple step that I am going to show to you. Now I will break the endpoint over here and if you notice we already have default CSS and the required JS file referred in our pages in our shared folder. So in our shared views, we have the default bootstrap CSS and then we have the bootstrap main.js file, JavaScript file. We need to replace it with the template that I'm going to suggest about. So go to Google and type in boots boot watch so here the first link boots watch is a free themes for bootstrap you select it and then once you scroll down you will see many templates that you may have a choice to select now for each template it will show you the type of display and the button along with the menus and their css for example if you scroll down, in this for this demo, I have selected something called Superhero. So I may go ahead and click on download and I will download bootstrap main.cs or if you want, do not want a minified version, you can select bootstrap.cs. So I have selected bootstrap.css and I open this file and I will copy the entire CSS. I'll come back to my project. I'll right click on CSS folder which is under www root and I'll say add new item. Here I'll type CSS and I'll select style sheet and name this as my CSS theme. So this is a file my CSS theme and I control I select and I delete the entire test from here and paste it the one which I copied from my theme. Now I save it. Now since I have selected the bootstrap boot, bootswatch template superhero I also need to select the relevant bootstrap file. So for that I say get bootstrap. The current version is version 5.2. I scroll down and there is something called include via CDN. I select the JavaScript reference. I copy that. I come to my pages shared and then select underscore layout.cshtml I scroll down and here I remove I comment it or either remove it this one and paste the one which I just copied it so I have referred my new bootstrap js file similarly I will go ahead and comment my CSS file and link the one which I saved it in my root folder that is link style sheet href CSS slash my themes so this is the CSS that I preferred So I have referred my new CSS 
as well as my javascript file let us run my project and see how does the application look So here you see the theme got changed. Now we have a theme which is similar to the one which we had selected that is the superhero and then we we can see that the entire background is changed and we can see this grey background. Now let us click on the unit master to see how does it look and how does the button look which is so here is a button here is a flat button is added and you can see the, the list also looks good. So this is a unit master. Now, if you go to this uh, template that is superhero, if you click on the superhero template, you can also select the nav bars. So, the here there is a nav bar. So, in my case, it is white. And if I want to give a blue background, I can go ahead and select it and copy this nav bar, copy the content, and come to my layout. In my layout, you can see there is after header, there is a nav bar class starts. You just click on it and just commit this line and paste the new one which we copied it now here I'll just save it and refresh it just to see how does it look so you can see the entire nav bar is changed now there are certain things which we will not require for this demo one is we don't require a drop down menu second is we don't require the search as of now and also we have lost our unit master menu which we had created which redirects to this model let's bring them back into the same blue theme for that first thing is that i'm going to comment this list object that will remove the drop down second i'll comment the form object which is the search screen and then here there are features added i'll go scroll down to my previous nav bar and select these components that is ohm and unit master come over here and just replace this with this one also in my class namba reference the title i'm going to change as online invoice and then i'm going to refresh it i can see that oh there are two ohms come over here so what i'm going to do is just comment this one and save it you can see now I'm able to see and it is even working so this is how you need to apply bootstrap and bootstrap theme easily into your web application in the next section we are going to learn about creating new unit master and we will see how things go about thank you for your time See you in the next lecture.